still be doing that. All right, and then 1041. Thirty-five. Um, yeah, that'll be fine. There you go. Thank you. Awesome. Thank you very much for coming. You guys have fun, all right? light bulbs because the light bulbs in this room are out. Uh oh, here he comes. Both these are out? Well, they're not working. Well, the light switch is off. We don't know if it's blown, but why would this be broken? I said they were bulbs a little bit. Do you have any bulbs down at the shop? I looked, I couldn't find them. Yeah, I brought you some donuts. You said you wanted some donuts. I don't eat donuts anymore, but I'll eat one. Go. Oh, I'll take the apple fritter. I'll, I'll take the fritter. fritter. I will have a fritter. fritter. I don't fritter. care about you anymore. I don't care about you anymore. And I'm not working with you anymore. Uh-oh. You can go. I like fritters. All right, I'll have to go down and get some. Well, I can go just tell me where they are, and I'll go. Oh, and the popcorn machine doesn't have a light bulb. That, bulb, that burn out. All right. I'm getting you one glad too. But no, you, but do you have any? Like, there were some bulbs under the kitchen sink, but I wasn't sure if any of those would work in the popcorn pot. Uh -uh. If you grab the back of the painting, you won't actually don't touch, touch the front of it. Why did you this. say anything? No, do not like touch this. it. I'll tell you. It's got a frame. If you grab it like that, he doesn't know how to touch artwork. Do not. Yeah, why say do not? Do I'll just go get it real quick. I thought I had some. See, if you're going to put this in, you're, you're going to have to put a piece of wood and knock a wood in this. You're not going to clean anything. I'm just going to stick it in here. Just put a piece of wood in here. Just stick a piece of wood in there. No, it's not. It does not. Is not for that. Yes, it is. No, it's not. I'm telling you. I want to get it unclogged. No, it's not. If you're going to do it, you got to do it right. It's not for that. That's what it's for. No, it's not. What's it for? They call it a drain hole. Yeah, for when it rains and it. Well, then what's that? What's that hole supposed to be for? That's exactly right. What's that hole supposed to be for? The hole is just a hole there. Well, why is there no hole there anymore? That's right. That's a guys hole crazy. That the water seeps out of. Yep. So that way your rains, pipe doesn't rust. Yep, and get clogged up like it did. All I want. Why can't I fix something? What are you trying to fix? That that thing. I want to get a spike and, and dig it out. Right. That's what I told you to but do. Why, but why doesn't he want it done? Oh, he's just he's just it's a dick. It's a stick. Typical Brian move. Where will the light bulbs be in the shed? Buy your painting. Oh, God. Everybody wants to see it live I, on I TV. Give. You bought the easel over. I thought you'd bring the painting, too. I, I'm in the process, but it's still tacky. Where is the uh, the light bulbs? 
inside the house? Where they the should be in the house. I don't know. I, I, in the house? They might be in the shed. I, I have to go and find them, okay? They could be... I'll go look. You know where the plastic bags are in the laundry room? Yeah. They could be in there. I'll look around. They could be in the shelves in there. This is my driving day anyway. I'll just go there and look. Well, you should have drove oh, around. Today's Friday. Hey, don't forget. What? Today's Friday. What's the significance of Friday? Why do you gas money? Oh, I that's right. I pay. He always wants something. Oh. <laughs> Says the guy who gives him a list of stuff to do every day. That is <laughs> wanting something as well. You've got to see the irony in this, right? So you're not leaving until tomorrow? I thought you were leaving today. What happened to that change? We were never leaving today. Oh. Why is there no label printer selected? Yes, it has been selected.
Hey, how you doing? Good. I recognize you from YouTube. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, a lot of people do. How we doing? Good. Any questions you can uh, need to answer, or you have yeah. any? Lots well, of them. Well, I, <laughs> I'll answer some of them. Okay, I got. I have uh, seven grandkids. Okay. They're, the oldest, I think, is seven. Okay. And they go down from there. Yep. So, they don't get excited about Lionel trains too much. No, they don't. Or engage. <laughs> and that's all I got. So, I was thinking about setting up a stock car track. Yep. There's two ways you can do it, all right? So, I know where you're going here. You can go HO, which we have a four-lane set, which is our... You know, that's the largest of the set, or you can just go with a nice one of our basic two car sets if only two kids could go in at the same time. Now, what some guys will do because we, we offer deals on multiple sets is if you have a big enough area, you can have with because they have bridges and crossovers, mm -hmm. okay, you can actually connect two different sets and they're intersection intersecting, see, okay. so that two cars are on one of that loop. And then two cars on the other loop. So the kids are racing, but they're not on the same. The two two people are on one loop. And so there's four kids could race, technically. Okay. And they would think that they're racing, but they're really not. But they're crashing, at least. And then you have 132nd, which is larger. Okay. Well, I've been looking into this, and there's going to be a 132nd HO, bouncing it back and forth. Right. I'm going to go with HO. Well, and, and there's two ways to do it. You can do it the giant raceway. We have the four-lane layout. Okay, which is the best deal. Mm -hmm. Or you could just buy a couple of Auto World sets with the intersection and the bridges and then create two layouts. It's really up to you. It's really what you want to spend. Well, one thing I like looking on the internet net is the uh, the transformer that has the three. And that is Auto World, or that's the Race Masters. Which is a AFX. AFX. Okay. Because my oldest is seven. And that's what we do. We'll do race night. And so we do like, we make a big deal about it. I'll set the whole track up in the living room. And then the middle child, he's four. And so they just, we just race and, you know, do the races. Are you ready? You know, so that's fun. And that's there's four different do. sets of race masters. Okay. But if you want to do a bit, the giant raceway is 62 feet. Okay. People think that's the best value, but the real best value is the super international, which is four lanes. You get four cars. You technically could set it up into two tracks if you wanted to, or you could do one giant layout. I'll show you that over here. Let's start out with what's the cheapest one you have, and I want to make sure they're going to be interested All right, well, then, then, then I would go with this one right here. I agree, the Pledge of Allegiance. I agree. We got a bunch of people with the Pledge of Allegiance. Brian, can we start? Who's with me on that? Everybody. Hi, Mandy. Hi, Timmy. Artwork like he did, it'll be... A... If he handles that artwork like he just did that, do it, it will be okay. Ha ha, Adam. I think he might be suffering from... A stroke because that didn't make any sense and then you guys got to ask again about how the movie was because i guess brian did watch the movie with tim complained about the entire time this is disgusting oh the donut this screen is just covered with crap and it needs to that's bad jeesh and it needs to do her job
because you're going to end up spending uh, 299 within. Oh, what is the way? Yeah, that's what Any technical issues, we can uh, have Chris address everything. We can go on my phone. I have everything to control me every step. I have all the track, I have all the accessories, I have all the cards, the cards, and everything in there. Okay, so it's like, maybe. Okay, so in 19, um, I got into Scott Wallace in the world of Scott Wallace. That's what I met. And that was in 19. Okay, so really, if, if this helped first, first part of the world, it wouldn't matter. The thing would still go together. 
And so this track, when the water went out of business in like 1981, this is what they had. They had a tiny bottle, and they came to come out with what they called tiny ASX. Because ASX was the raw factory experimental stuff, and that was the original only thought that was known as ASF. And they called it the ASF. And they made it, they used it as this track, and this is the track that everybody uses to this day. Now, the only difference between the old track and all the new ones are that it's not a base connection, and it's just a different part of the track that you find it. It's not a track. They use the same mold, the same plastic. Hello. Now, why didn't that work? Why can't this work? Why does this work? Right now, I'm trying to get a copy of my receipt from my flight that I did last week. Thermal layer printer. So I see confirmation number. Would that help? Uh, DCBL. No. Star sign. Skip G8 this. Talk to agent. 5NPW. E5Y336. 
Okay, G. Right. H. Five. N. P. W. Terrible movie. Ryan, you might need to take, I got, got a call here. I'm on the phone too. Okay. Hey, I'm having problems on my world ship uh, printing labels from my um, wireless printer. Is I have it here? in the queue. Um, I went test printer and, um, and when I test uh, it prints something just now, but it won't print the labels. Um, a zebra. The date of the travel yeah. was the 13th. Of Hold on a second. It's a zebra. Zebra ZD420. It could be a Google. Let me know how to wrap it away. Young. Young. Hold on, young. Oh, what do you got? Yeah. Oh, I'm sorry. I can't tell hey, you guys are. The, the wife? Yeah, I'm having problems printing labels uh, from my Z printer. I went, I went from police or Detroit to Jacksonville. Yeah. Yeah. When I print my label, it says no printer Sorry, label is selected. Airline. Please Can configure the printer label yes, printer those are... using the system preference. One second. Where I got it in. Under set printer setup, it has uh, my printer in the printer setup. Yes, it was a direct flight. Um, maybe I'm, I'm, I don't know what I'm doing. Hold on. <clears throat> Hold on one second. We're going to be getting stickers on the boxes, so it'll be easier. <laughs> Sorry about that. Did you want yeah. to do both of those? I'm still looking. Okay, yeah, absolutely. Take your time. Those are good. I'd get him a, I'd get him a, uh, a Baja. I'd get him at least a couple that? buggies. Yeah. yeah, just for the fun of it. So they, oh, wow, well, that's cool looking. You know, something different. Yeah. Okay. I'll be right with you. I, oh, right. I got to fix my printer here real quick. N N2, Mike November 2, Young, at Gmail. Yep. Support printer activity. Oh, change printers. Wait a minute. Perfect. Select printer. Yeah, yep, that's it. Yeah, it is. No, I did the cool. test page. So when I go to setup, right. printer setup, right. and I print a print a test page, it prints from the it prints the test page from your. I know that's what I can't. It won't let me do that. Uh, yeah, okay. No, no, that's fine. My my son's taking care of the customer. Yeah. 
Yeah, go ahead. A, go to A, A, S, S, I, S, T, I, T, dot me. All right, session code. We only got the orange. You want me to open another setup and go have a blue one? The off road? Do you have a lot more of those left? Yeah, go ahead and do one on. Them. Yep. That one right there. That one right there. No, it should be a rolling stock. Yeah, thermal, generic thermal. Yeah. Yeah, there we go. Four by six. But so here in Toledo, they've got a little reserve center, but I've been all over the place. Yeah, that was, that was an aviation. Oh! And so I went into the reserves because the Navy made a deal with the Air Force. Yep, it's done. Thank you very much. Navy Have a great day. Chow hall. Appreciate that. Let the Bye. Airedales. Uh, Airedales? On the weekends and stuff, and that was in Youngstown. Airedales? Oh, okay. But it didn't work out too good. I had to get out. Yeah, it's no good. Airedales? Aviation. Yeah, that's what I think. You were in the Na A Navy av Aviation? Yeah. He yeah. was a sub guy. I was a riverine guy. And then... so all... You're about my brother's age. You 68 then? 69. 69, yeah. He's 70. <laughs> what are you going to do? Ah! He, he just throws it at me got, all the time. He looks two. older than me, but he's I'm 70. Okay, who looks okay. older? And he's 62. <laughs> I mean, think about it. He's 70 See, he years paused. old. he paused. Hey, we have an eight-year year difference, and he paused. I don't have to pause anything. No, he paused. What do you get? Oh, you're going to get those two? Yeah. He's going to eat a lot of broccoli. He eats too much broccoli. Well, thanks for coming here all oh, yeah. the way from... Well, uh, if I were to order these from you and you shipped them, how much is shipping? It's about five bucks. Oh. It's about seven now. Well, it's going a lot cheaper than driving all the way over here. How far <laughs> are you coming from? Uh, Amherst, so we're oh. really in, basically. Oh, okay. About an hour and a half. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, all you have to do is call us, and we'll if it's uh, if it's see if it's under if it's under sixteen ounces, which is 
basically 15 ounces. It's first class. First class to Ohio is about 475. Outside of Ohio, it could be anywhere from 550 to 580. First class. Now, if it's a pound to two pounds, like a race set, mm -hmm. if you went to one of those race sets in Ohio, it's about eight dollars to ship them. So, and I give you a discount. You know, sometimes I give you a discount, so that covers some of the shipping. Then we have the tune-up kits for those two. So when you need tune-up kits, you'll need the extraction tune-up kits. So fifty-three thirty. No, did you get them a discount? Oh, what was that? Yeah, just give them the custom. Fifteen off. Let's give them fifteen off. Forty-five thirty-five for the drive. For the drive. Coming to visit. That's kind of cool. Oh, Thanks a lot. I mean, I, I we do appreciate when people He's drive. Too soon, so you call him before he left. <laughs> you saw some. Well, I'm not leaving yet. Well, you know. Maybe. No, there is no. Well, you know. Maybe. Well, no, there is no maybe. I'm not leaving yet. Too bad. Oh, brother. And then, do you want to get any updates? We can put your email address in there. I think I put it in this morning. Oh, okay. You I... made an account, maybe, or something. Mm -hmm. or... I don't know. It said put your email address here, and I did. Okay, <laughs> so, so you might be in there. There we go. There's this. I'll put that. Vermilia. I've heard of it. I know. I had. I, well, there was, there are a lot of hobby stores in this Cleveland area. A lot of them have gone out of business in the last. Oh well, yeah. I mean, a lot of them. Oof. Yeah, there's only one that deals with trains in the whole Cleveland area anymore. Oh, there's, I mean, when I started with SCX ten years ago. Uh, I mean, they they were everywhere, and then I I did an update in 2014 after 2008 kind of recession, mm -hmm. and at least two thousand, at least a thousand to fifteen hundred stores had closed. Yeah, I see that it's the distributor. The, the the fault is the distributors because a lot of the distributors are carrying the same thing as the hobby stores, and they can't compete. Oh yeah, well eBay's killing everybody too. Yeah, I try I try to be competitive. I mean, I have sets. I mean, I'll, I'll show you these two. I mean, these aren't. Um, I don't necessarily show these off around because they're older sets, and some people don't want to. They want a newer set. Good luck. I hope everything goes well with your grandkids. Yeah. And if you have any questions, don't forget to give us a call. Oh. Okay. Okay. Yeah, my name is Dan. Dan. Here's our card. Oh, okay. Your phone number and everything. Okay, Dan. Yep. Wow. Thanks a lot, Dan. Have a great Fourth of July. Okay. Okay. Anything else? Oh, well, thank you. Hey, thanks. Yep. That's cool. Look at all the stuff that he got out you of it. You see the stuff I got out of it? I, I don't care. Drink and the hole would drink the water, water out, of out of it like what it was meant to do. Oh, oh, stupid. That's neat. That's me. And they're asking about the movie last night. It was you? stupid. Oh, yeah, how was it the was movie? stupid. They I, know. It, it was the awesome. only. The only. It no, was, well, it, no, it wasn't. It. it was no. I no. No, I, I didn't. Heard you liked no, it. I didn't because the movie was stupid. The only part of the movie that was any good, and the only reason and he researched. Sequel. There's a sequel. He's the only reason he researched it is the that I watched a preview on YouTube a week before.
okay, it's about a, the battle, yeah, which I thought it was pretty cool. Yeah, the battle was. was that was the only now we part. Get to see the okay, so shut up. <laughs> About your, st he is it's, so stupid about movies. So you're gonna watch this? No, I'm not. Yeah, we're gonna watch it tonight. I'm watching Tell the Tomorrow the story World with the kids tonight. Well, you can watch that. That's fine. Wait, but what's the, the story of the movie? The Mahubali, the conclusion. That's the sequel. This was the beginning we saw, and then there's the conclusion. Really. Oh, it's a law. It's a complicated story. I could sit down and explain it to you, but you got a lot of work you need to I do. Need to. I wish Rod was on because I got some exciting news for Rod, but uh, about the hat that yeah, I found. Yeah, that's a big deal. It's a big deal with the hat, but I, I'll, I'll, I gotta put, I gotta put the flag pole post up. We're gonna put a flag up for July Fourth. Ryan got this for me. I'm gonna wear this on my trip every day. For Father's Day. For Father's Day, he got me this for Father's Day. So don't get upset. Don't make give me thumbs down, okay? So this is just, this is why America is free, okay? If you have a problem with it. Just say, okay, great. <laughs> oh, don't blame me. Okay, they're pay you know, if you don't want to pay seven dollars a gallon in gas, okay, if if I hear you complaining about paying seven dollars a gallon in gas or even four or five dollars, don't complain, okay? Don't complain. Accept that because that's where they wanted to go to. They want to go it higher, but I don't want to go there today. Right? All right, go assist. All right, I got that fixed. All right, I got to get that done. Um, so we have a customer that came all the way from Vermilion. That's awesome. Um, and I know why he watches, see, I know why he watches a lot of these movies. Okay. And it has to do with art. It, it, it's, it's, it, it has nothing to do with how well the movie is. It's just visit, visit, visually. He, he likes all this visual stuff. Okay. The movie will, the movie sucks, but he loves the visuals because that, he's an artist. That's all there is to it. And I, and I get that, but I mean, it, it just had the dumbest See, and this is Indian movies. They love this kind of stuff. And I don't have anything against them. They do know how to make great movies that people might want to see. I'm just not into all that uh, horse manure throughout the movie. Are you sure? Are you sure it's just he's insane? Oh, he could be insane. I, I'm not saying Adam, he's not insane. Uh, uh, because he, he does have mental issues uh, that... Uh, um, uh, okay, so this guy is buying one motor, okay, that is, that is 10 ounces, okay, and he paid, he paid, he bought one motor, and he paid $22 to ship it to Australia. That doesn't make any sense. Get it up okay? Yeah, I got that part up. Got the bulbs in here up too. They work. Both of them blew at the same time. That is wild. That is wild. It's almost hard to believe. It, well, it is hard to believe. Oh, Rod's on. Rod's on? Yeah, he said, What's up, Tim? Hey, Rod, uh, I'll get you in a minute, buddy, old pal. Do you have that painting or do I have to go get it? Don't panic. You gotta chill. Now, I don't have to. I don't have to panic. I don't have to chill. I don't really have to do anything. Well, a lot of people have said they want us. They want us to start our live streams with the Pledge of Allegiance. Rod said the song and dance stuff from Bollywood movies is too much. <laughs> Uh, you gotta be into dancing, that's for sure. <laughs> oh, and I don't want to flag it. I don't want to fly it that way. I want to fly it upside down, distressed. Please don't put it up there. <laughs> Go ahead. Put it up your way. I'm tired of it. 
Like oh, it's so, it's so funny. You know, it's so I. It's always old if I do it. You know, I find that funny. You know, Thursday or Wednesday, those guys were on me. You know, uh, it's okay uh, when it's, it's okay when they attack me, oh, but when I go against them, go. oh, it's the wrong thing to do. And everybody agrees with me. I guarantee you, all twenty-two people will say exactly what I just said. Hey, do you want and they know that the truth. Hey, don't put that up wrong. I will do it however I want. I'm just telling you. I gotta pack this with these. Yeah, things. and it can't. You can't just stick that in there. That's not gonna hold it. It has to. A hole has to be drilled with a screw so it holds it permanently there. Oh, dear Father in heaven. Uh, metal rear dog bones. Metal rear dog bones. We are calling this metal rear dog bones. Metal. Oh, brother. There we go. Metal rear dog bones, shoguns. All these parts. Metal rear dog bones. I got all these parts to these show guns. All right, 16, 16, 9, 16913 16918 That's what we need is a thin little screw for that hole. 16913 dog bones right here. Dog bones. That's not a bad idea. That's what that's probably for instead of leaking the water. <laughs> that probably is. <laughs> Then you can screw it in, and then it doesn't move anywhere. That's oh, smart. Brother. He, uh, you know what's so funny about these two? I, I really think they're Humpty and Dumpty. You know, they <laughs> they really have no clue what they're talking about at the time. Okay? Really, seriously. You know, and they'll always ask me my opinion on everything. Tim will always ask me, my, hey, Brian, does, how does this fix? Why doesn't this work? You know, uh, you know, it's like I never have to ask anybody my, uh, how something to fix something, okay? I am the person to fix it. You know what I'm saying? I gotta get some crap out of my shoe. <laughs> I gotta get the shovel. <laughs> oh my I mean, God. seriously, guys. Seriously. I mean, really, you need to get a you life. You have a counseling session. You have a counseling session today. One. I don't have any counseling sessions. You just can't. You can't handle it, Tim. Well, I'm not watching that one. I am not watching that one. Because I'm not watching two and a half awesome. movies. Everybody wants to know what the first one was about. Oh, it was stupid. It was about nothing, really. You know, seriously, about a guy flying in the air, trying to jump, trying to jump a river, a, a gorge of a river, just flying and oh, la la, you know, and it just oh, they're having a dance scene and they're changing clothes. Like, where are they getting these clothes? Stupid. And I know why he wanted to watch it because I watched this. Preview of the uh, battle scene, which I thought was pretty cool, yes. and then watching the real battle scene, I I can say, okay, this is ridiculous. 
too much CGI. They had like billions of guys and this guy is running through all these guys. It's too much CGI. It was like, are you kidding me? Is that? Every single movie is like that. Here he is picking up one. Some of the stuff he watches is a comedy. Where are you going to go? Hey, does this get shipped out by itself? That's UPS. Doesn't go with this other stuff then. No, it's UPS. Brian, can I please have a camper rant on the trip? Yes, I'll give you a camper rant. Is that Adam? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Unbelievable. Good. You can take Adam with you. Take Adam with there you. There he goes, mate, installing customers. <laughs> Bubble Mania or AJ. Yeah, they're uh, fixing my... Okay, so I was driving... I uh, <laughs> had this really... It really shocked me, actually. We were driving down one... What was it? 199? On uh, When we were headed down to Myrtle Beach, we were headed... And we stopped... We were driving down 199 from uh, Fostoria to Cary. And they were doing road construction, and, the, and a sign said, bump. Well, normally the bumps aren't that bad, and I went over that bump at like 40 miles an hour. The RV must have jumped four feet in the air and landed. And and I, I, I thought, man, I must have blown something. Well, I did. I My muffler basically cracked off. So good thing I didn't have a lot of problems um, going down there with the muffler. But uh, my local mechanic here, uh, A-Tech, which if you need any, uh, if you live in the Northwest Ohio area uh, and you need... Uh, <laughs> And you need mechanic work. A Tech is the best. These guys are uh, just quintessential great guys to get your your jobs done. And I came to him yesterday. I said, "Can you do this job, please?" He said, "Yeah, we, he think he could get it done." So we left it there yesterday. He measured the pipes and everything, and he ordered the muffler. Um, so I had to order a new muffler. I mean, it wasn't. Bah, loud it was it was just you knew that there was a hole somewhere it wasn't the thing of, of a huge sound but two of the brackets that were holding they were kind of like j brackets they kind of looked like a hook they kind of had a hook and they were holding they the hooks kind of hooked then they had a ring like this like a c ring that hooked and and the hook this hook broke off two of them and the muffler is just kind of like hanging there oh brother. and then i then i so i didn't update you guys on the the uh the generator. So so I take it to this Cummings dealer, okay, and he calls me back later in the day and says, Well, we've had it we've had it running for three hours and, and it hasn't shut off. I go, You gotta be kidding. You have to be kidding. So he said, uh, I said to him, take can you at least run around with it, you know, drive around because it usually drives around and it will shut off. Well, of course, he drove drove around in it. And he can't call me back. Says nothing's wrong, Mister Young. Nothing. Everything's fine. I said, okay, great. So I got in it. I turned on the generator. I drove it from the Cummings dealer all the way back home, and the thing was still running. And I'm thinking, okay, after five hundred dollars, what what's the problem? What what what's the problem? And I here's what it is. And here is a tip, and, and, and everybody needs to share this tip to everybody, okay? And I mean it. You need to share this tip to everybody. Do not put gasoline, this ethanol crap, and that's what I'm calling it, ethanol crap, in any of your lawnmower machines, any of your, anything that you are, are using around the house that you need gas for. Go to your local... Um, fart and uh, fart and flames feet or these wherever you can buy 
pure octane gasoline that has no ethanol in it. Because my local uh, mower guy said, because my mower, I kept taking my mower there every year, wouldn't start. He said, yeah, everybody does it because they leave that ethanol crap in the mower in the, in the winter. It gums up, can't start it. So I go to my, my um, 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 mower guy, Ameds, Ameds or whatever it's called, A-M-E-N-D. And uh, he sells the Toro four cycle and two cycle oil. Or, or gasoline. And that's the only stuff I put in my on my m machines now. And so I'm thinking, well, at the end of the year, with my, cla with my uh, 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 Class C, you know, it still has gasoline in it. And so it sits in the coop all winter long. And that gas in the, that's still in the tube going to the generator, that's probably been sitting there for two years, okay, or a year every... Uh, and so now, for now on, at the end of the year, I'm gonna I'm gonna get it. To, I'm gonna get it to maybe a half a gallon. Then I'm gonna go fill it, or put. Um, hey there. Three gallons. How you doing? Not too bad. And how are you doing? Uh, I, mean, I can't complain. <laughs> I was down over at my buddy uh, Davy's there place, and I. Took I'm Brian. Brian, Jimmy Forrest, Forrest Auto Supply, the Napa store. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah. you supply them all the parts. Yep. So yep. you brought my muffler down. Yep. Then. He's got her all good to go, <laughs> and I was down. Yeah. So it's camper. He said, "Well." Uh, buddy down here, you said you, you had had this place called Tinkin. I look him, you know, today's my son's birthday. I don't want to come and take. Oh, a look and how old got. is he? Twelve. Twelve. So I'm probably not. Gonna, what I'm is not gonna, he like? Oh, he likes everything. He, he he's into horses and stuff like that. But but uh, well, we have he, horses too. Do you? What he, kind of horses does he like? Oh, I, I don't how know old is he? Does. Twelve. Twelve. Okay, I don't know. If this would be for yeah, him or you know, not. And, but like I said, I'm not into get. I'm not going to purchase anything today. Like these, I have these. This horse is down here. All right, stuff like that. You know, just something like that. And then we have regular toys. I mean, I have the animal kits. Um, we have uh, guns. If he likes toy guns, I have the best selection of toy guns. If he likes the building guns, I have these these uh, spitball guns. These are like, oh, really? these are really awesome. And these are just, I bought these in our clothes out. You get, we give you an extra set of <laughs> clip. And he actually build this. He actually builds it. Really? And, and, they, and they shoot spitballs. I'll be damned. Seven ninety nine. That's pretty damn cool. It is. Wow. <laughs> yeah, that's look awesome. around. I, mean, I am. I am. Yeah, Dave said it was a must. I had to come over here and take a look. Well, thanks. Absolutely, it's neat. I got a lot of. Yeah, I didn't know you were here. It's oh, you got a really good variety of stuff. Oh, we're getting more and more stuff. We're awesome. constantly getting new and new items. Oh wow! Look at that. Airbrush kit. That's the deluxe. That's yeah. the best airbrush uh, kit you could get. That is awesome. That's the called the. Uh, Grex, they're out of Cal out of California. Are they? The, the, it's a family. A father and son started it, and the son designed the gun. And the dad's been into a uh, regular Grex equipment. A uh -huh. lot of uh, it's professional. They have a lot of professional Grex uh, airbrush uh, guns, uh, screws, uh, a, a lot of industrial stuff. And then they went into making air. It's a compressor kit, so you, you get the compressor, no the whole gun and everything. That's pretty neat. What's something like that run for? That runs about 400 Does it? But it's a whole kit. Right, right, right. And they're... No, that's, it's that's top awesome. of the line. I got, I got Buddy that's into, you know, re redoing all of his RC oh, cars okay. and repainting. Oh, okay, and, cool. And real tedious stuff, and I'm going to tell him about that. We have some RC cars. We have some $50 cars, some low-end cars. This is all of our... Plus, you get an extra, you get an extra clip. What am I taking back to your shed? And you get an extra pack of the um, shell. What? Awesome. Oh, the rest of the light bulb. Now, you want here. the spit back? Well, how many extensions do they have back at the shed? Uh, uh, 400. Oh. Oh. So this is an extinction. That's the Patriot. Flags bolt. But, that, you know, a thin... A thin little Let's screw here, would we'll catch that metal, metal and it would I'm going to keep taking a look around. Yeah, look around. Let's exactly put this over here. Thank you, sir. I appreciate you. Yep. Motorhome sounds good. <laughs> Does it? Does it really? Yeah, it's a pretty neat little gun. 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 Yeah, it's a p
<laughs> well, you know, I was just telling our live stream that I was, we were going to Myrtle Beach two mm -hmm. weeks ago, and we were down 199, and I come up to this bridge, and it said bump, and I, and normally I slow I'll get down, back to your they, rod. they had just paved up to it, and I thought that it was, well, it wasn't, and I jumped about three feet Woo! and landed back down, I'll do it. and I thought I heard that hit the ground. And I noticed it a little louder going all the way to Myrtle Beach and back. Uh -huh. And then I noticed it here a couple of days ago that it was really loud. <laughs> well, at least that's a simple fix. Yeah, it yeah. was. Yep, yeah, we got the, our box truck for our Napa stores. It's one that goes to all of our stores and delivers the pallets and stuff. It's got the V10, same motor, uh, the E450. Uh -huh. And I think it's a great vehicle. I mean, I, I, I like those motors. I really uh -huh. do. They, they lasted us a long time. Really? But, uh huh. Yep, as long as you keep maintenance up on them, they, they last a pretty long time. Then we have model kits, too, if you love to buy model kits. They got these oh, really yeah. cheap, inexpensive model kits. These are our, uh, um, you get a, these come in a two-pack. This is the Stuker and the uh, Messer Schmidt. Mm -hmm. um, these, and they're in the back. So make sure you look throughout the whole place. I will, I will. Okay. Thank you very much. Yeah. 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 Thanks. <sighs> Okay, so anyway, so getting back to the uh, the gasoline. So so now from now on, I'm going to, at the end of the year, and so this is what I think is why the generator was cutting in and off. I think that there was some of that old ethanol gasoline stuck in the line, and it was clogging up and shutting down. And then on my way back, I bought some... <gasps> some uh, STP fuel treatment and I bought like four of them and I was just putting a lot of them in there because I wanted to see if it would dissolve any of I think that is what has been clogged in that line and so put jet fuel in it <laughs> so my opinion to everybody is do not use this ethanol garbage in your mowers buy 100% octane or or no ethanol gasoline. And that's what I do. I go to wood here in Bowling Green. There's a wood, uh, wood, um, wood County. Um, what's the name of that place? I can't remember. Uh, Midwood called Midwood. And they sell octane like 94. <laughs> I think it's, it's like three, nine, 320 or nine a gallon. So I buy I this one of these big 12 gallon uh, uh, marine uh, thing of oil Never and um fuel. and uh, yeah see he he's the expert and i guarantee you he does not put that in his mower he puts in the ethanol stuff and I he goes put in gasoline the gasoline in my mower i don't put ethanol well uh we where an ethanol plant in warsaw and nobody wants it there okay well don't well field. well if you go to if you bought your gasoline at a gas station and put it in there then it's that's ethanol it. free at our gas station no it isn't in Indiana, and oh it says shut right up if you oh, can't shut read, up. I can't help you. And that's see, he's, he's all of a sudden he's all of a sudden the expert. He's all of a sudden the expert. He really is so full of it, it's amazing. <laughs> hey, the guys want to know when we're gonna watch the, the uh, sequel. Well, that I'm not watching. AJ, we're gonna watch the sequel. Together. I am not. You can watch it, but I'm not. And don't charge it on my account. I'm not. I, I watched don't. that movie just because I wanted to I'm see gonna, that battle. I'm gonna but go I am the, not going to spend. I'm not going to spend uh, another no, time I'm on not. that. No, I'm not. I'm going to get it to the library. I'm not watching it, so don't bring it back. I watched this one because I wanted to see that battle, and and I had to watch two and a half hours of crap to get to that battle. The dancing was beautiful. Yeah, that's yeah. I, you are a dancer. You're a dancing flaking idiot. Oh, oh, I tell you, sometimes Brian, you just... You, can you believe me? He's no, crazy. sometimes you're just so... You're so sometimes. arrogant. It's like you just... You, you're you're just like... <laughs> I don't know why you're being so mean to oh, me. All right, I've done for today... You haven't done anything but, later to work. but complain. You've only done one thing is complain. I, mowed your, I did all the trim and, the, and all the work. And I was going to show Rod the new style hat that I've got. I'm looking at. It's called a Gap. I'm going to buy one. <laughs> Does he have a, uh, a kit already? This is a complete kit with a lock. Is it? It has a launch kit. Right, right. You may need that. Well, I didn't have to launch any of these. I don't know, but you may need it. Hey, this is going to Australia. Yes. We try to have a lot of neat stuff. Australia. 
Where did you find the... Oh, okay. It's going to Australia. Yeah, I found them. It was in the shed. Looked over the house. We couldn't find them in the house. Yeah, anymore. no, I had just bought those, I think. Yeah, you put those up there. Okay, good. That was done right. What are you doing? <laughs> Have you got that report for me yet? <laughs> yes, we worked on it. For so Ryan nice. didn't get me the report. You're supposed to come up with a report. Very sent it. Yeah, email. See, there's, there's Tim talking email? again. <laughs> He's like diarrhea sometimes. Yeah, yeah just this for now, but out. I am going to come back hopefully. Oh, hey, any time, buddy. Out. Thanks for coming. Yeah. I, couldn't help any... it. I couldn't help it eavesdrop, but I've been using uh, ethanol free stuff in my meters and my, uh, uh, <clears throat> my chainsaws. I've never had any problems with the carbs, not problems with anything since I started using the ethanol free. Uh, it's yeah. made by BP. We yeah. sell it at, at our stores. We sell it by the gallon. Oh, do you really? And they already have pre mix 40 to 1, 50 to 1. So you don't have to worry about putting too much oil in or anything if you're doing your pre mix stuff. And uh, yeah, that, uh, that, like I said, I didn't mean to eavesdrop, but I've been using that stuff for the last two years and I haven't had to mess with my carbs on anything since I started using it. Okay. Nothing. This stuff's amazing. That, get that stuff for a motorcycle then maybe because you always got to clean the car 853 yeah that's true yeah well you know they, they do have the ethanol now honestly a lot of places like for their race cars and their and their Harleys and stuff I got a buddy that, that they just go to uh, actually the um, the airport like the Wauseon Fulton County Airport and they sell fuel there oh. yeah, people go and fill up there for their race cars and because it's all ethanol free yeah yep now he'll need, uh, which you'll be familiar with this because you work at Napa, mm -hmm. uh, 45. For the gun to shoot uh, more, uh, for, or for it to shoot further, mm -hmm. there's an O-ring that is in the gun, which gives it compression. Oh, gotcha. Puts, if you put some little O-ring grease on it. Gotcha. That, help, that helps oh, it, doesn't Oh, my gosh. We did, we did a setup at our church. We did... Uh, for a men's event, we built all built these guns, uh -huh. and they weren't shooting very well. And we put, then we got some regular Crisco oil or oil. Yeah, it, it worked, but it, but O ring grease would be great because be the, the compression was like a hundred times different. Because we were shooting them, and like, they would go like ten feet. Uh -huh. And we put the oh, and they were shooting seventy feet. No kidding. Oh yeah, right. the spitballs were going completely across the room. Good to know. I'm not gonna. This is gonna be fun to build with. My it friends. is. It is cool. really fun to build. Cool. It's easy to build too. Right, this right. is the hard, not the hard part, but this is the fun to count uh, all the accessories. Right, too. right. Well, I appreciate everything, guys. Hey, have I, a good day. Thanks back. a lot. I bring my yeah. kids over here. Sometime. Awesome. Yeah, bring them awesome. down. Saturdays, twelve to five. Awesome. Yeah, Dave was thought, uh, spoke very highly of you guys. Thanks. Here, so I wanna, thanks well, he's guys. the greatest in the way of mechanics. Oh, he is. He's amazing. He's been doing business with us a long time. And he's oh man, good guy. He is a secret. You know, I, I, we've been here twenty years, and I didn't use him the first ten years. No. <laughs> you know, it was a preconceived, you know, it's cheaper else. Oh, yeah. And I started using him like five years ago. I, I, everything now. He's good. And oh, yeah. That, but he, he's, he's not a bullshitter. He no, how it is exactly. And, you know, That's right. Yeah. That's right. He doesn't know. No, <laughs> he's always, no, no, <laughs> no, no. He would say, no, no, I'm going to go check cheaper. Cause no, he, come you know, on. He's, he's, goes, I got to go check place cheaper in BG or mommy. <laughs> he is so full <laughs> of it. Just check the guy down the street. That come, man. Man, I tell you, oh, Dave, Dave's good. <laughs> hey, you guys have a great week. Yeah, bye bye. What a flying lizard! <laughs> oh my gosh! See those pellet, those pellet guns, those spitball guns just sell like nonstop. Why don't we do another a video on that? I am when I get back, but he can't even get the videos that he's got done. Well, How am I going to add more videos to his collection? Well, we should get those videos. Of the spit guns, if there's just produce some more demos, especially the O-ring thing, I think it's fascinating. I don't know why. Why do you comment? Okay, seriously, why? Why do you open your mouth half the time? No, you're not. You you constantly well, want to argue with me you know and say that you would agree with them. He, he does. Well see, here they go. See, they gang up. They're they they're doing it. They go. See, listen to him. <laughs> Poor Ryan. <laughs> You know what I think I'm going to do, though? We're going to do, uh, when we went to Mount Rushmore last year, we went on a 4x4 four four, uh, and off-road, and I took my wife and the four kids, and we went through mud, splashing it everywhere. I think I'm going to take my camera this time and videotape it. 
You should. Did she break? Was that where she broke? No, her she lip? broke her whip. So she was coming back from the pool, and it just started pouring. Well, she stepped into this puddle of water. She thought. Well, it was like two feet deep, and she then cracked her ribs because she hit up the ground, and she was just miserable the rest of the trip. And that's why she doesn't want to go on this trip because she thinks it's going to be miserable, and so I'm going to go out of my way to try to make her happy <laughs> as much as I can. I'm going to I'm going to flood her with cash, okay? I'm going to give her money. I'm going to buy her things. I'm just going to do anything I can to make her happy. Okay, that's my goal, well, is to, to buy her off. I'm going to buy her off, basically, okay, because she was miserable on the way back. Every time I had a bump, she oh, oh, oh. That sounds like a good idea. And somebody turned up the air conditioning again. <laughs> you got to turn the air conditioner off. Three of them are right there. Huh. What did you do with them? Well, pull out all the old ones and open all the old packages of them. No, the other one was an envelope. Australia, the other one was an envelope. Two, uh, yeah. I mean, all three of them were over there. Okay. You say they were? Well, it's not that I'm saying they were. They were. There were three printed, and I had it laying right on top of it. I'm going to open up this one and see what it's got.
Hey, I'll, I'll look for it later. It has to be around here somewhere. Because it printed three labels. Oh, it shows three printed labels? Yeah, it showed three printed labels. I printed all three of them all at the same time. Laid on all three of these items. No, I know that, but it just shows them. Yes, it shows three printed labels. Because I did them in a batch. I just hope it's not in any other boxes. Uh, I'll just open them all up into the bag.
it is right here. Why is it in the other room here? It was in the other... Why, why was it by the refrigerator? What? The, the label. Don't ask me. I don't go there. I don't go I in that refrigerator. Why'd you go in the refrigerator? I didn't go in the refrigerator. That's just the whole point. Why would you put Are it you over? Have you had a Coke tonight? No, I haven't. I yeah. didn't go over there, so why well, did you go over? Well, I'm just saying it was over there. Well, you were there. Did you you were talk That's right, because you went over there to talk to that fella. Oh. oh so I didn't talk to anybody. Put all three of them down. Yeah. I did yeah. put all three of them down. Yeah. You thought. See, I knew that. See that? I knew this is where it would go. Where did you find this? This is where I knew it would go. And 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 I knew this was going to happen. That's Where why I was just going to forget this? about it and not even think about it. You won't it. even admit it. I put them on those three items. Then it got up and you. Over I, to I, well, did, didn't that? That was your business. You're in shipping. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Boy, we lost half our audience. Brian, I'm still there. I'll I'll never leave. 
Yeah, you know, people go and buy, uh, come and go. All right, getting ready for July 4th weekend. We've got another Bel Air on auction right now, and right now it's at eight bids. 55 Bel Air is at eight bids, and it's at 4206. My cousin, my cousins are really enjoying the slot car track you sent me first the other day. Thank you so much there. The by the beach 64. Will the nomads go on sale as soon as Auto World gets a okay? Uh, in the manufacturing from China, okay? So, if anybody doesn't understand production, it's all a production line. So, they have a schedule, say, we need this stuff done, and so they put it into schedule. Well, right now, all these factories are working at 110%, and the factory that everything's made in Auto World is also where a lot of uh, Carrera is made. And so, Carrera is number one and auto world is number two in their production queue because obviously they carrera can't make uh, or or supply that uh factory with everything they couldn't uh they, they need more people that's why they have auto world making there too to to fill it up so um right now they're at over capacity everybody is over capacity that's why there's shortages everywhere okay i would um, and, um, that's why there's delays. Uh, uh, our four cars, our nomads, our two nomads were supposed to sh ship August. All these four cars were supposed to ship August. Okay. But in, uh, May... April, May, everything started to go haywire. And I don't want to be alarmist, but there's one thing that is disturbing me. Well, I, how do you say this without people freaking out? They go, well, Brian, why are you worrying? Why, why, why do you worry? You know, because I am concerned. Has anybody looked at a car dealership lately? Has anybody looked at a car dealership lately? Uh, there's nothing on it. There's no inventory. There's nothing there. And I'm not talking American. I'm talking anybody. They don't have inventory. There is nothing on the lot. And I don't know how these dealerships, how they're, I mean, okay, great. If you take orders, advanced orders, which, like, I was talking to the, the dealership in Finley, Finley Ford. No, because they, they the Auto World, is everything is backed up. They've got one assortment coming out, which is the Swede Savage. Uh, they're Transamerica cars. Those are coming out in a couple weeks. But I'm just letting people know that, you know... The, the, I don't want to sound alarming. I don't want to sound pessimistic. I don't want to sound um, the uh, trailers, the um, the uh, semis. That sets looked for is looking for September, October. Um, see, here's the thing that I'm I'm counting on, and I don't know if it's going to happen or not. 
they could all of a sudden, this could go into production tomorrow. If the factory has gotten things caught up, these could go into production tomorrow. Okay. And all of a sudden I could get an, I could get an alert from, from um, Craig saying, hey, your four cars, they're done. They're shipping in two weeks. That would just, I would be ecstatic. Because when they hit the boat, when they hit the water, these are going on sale. I'll look into that, Matt. I didn't see that on my latest sales sheet. I didn't see it on their latest order there. But anyway, that's the update with our four cars. Uh, I got those bank dates incurred uh, in my cart waiting on the go ahead from the boss. No problem, I will wait for the boss. So that's the updates on the cars, the exclusives, and we have all the other exclusives. Those are going to be more toward Christmas, which, um, you know, I want to have a lot of stuff for Christmas. Uh, eh, oh, boy. So, so that was the update about the RV. You didn't get to see this, did you? pulled in it's a Colombian just like the old iron side except for this is their version of it and they got people on the mass all the way up to the top as they come in a poor it's the officer training ship well that's that's not like the iron side that's like the coast guard you mean it's like the iron side it's an all wooden vessel that they do the training for all that's not all wooden what, what is it that's that's me that's a metal hull well, but it's like the old Ironside. No, it's not. Ironside was wooden. That is a, that is a, uh, well, they might have metal or wooden inside, but what I'm saying is that's yeah, a. It's got masks. Those are the girls that told me to go take a tour. Oh, so your, oh, did you send that to your wife? Let me yeah, send I that sent to Yeah, I sent it on the live stream. You did, huh? Yeah. Well, I can't, I went up to the dudes, all the dudes, and then they end up showing up to me, and then they're like, can we get a picture? I was like, sure, yeah, yeah. And then I took What country are they from? Colombia. Columbia. And they, that's all the tours they did. And that's like the bowl. Columbia? Yeah. Every, every place has one of them things. He was telling me about all this. That one's called the Gloria. And then they've got the sister ship, which is in every one of those countries. Yeah, that's metal. Those. You can tell it's a metal hall. I mean, come on. Don't you know that? Oh, oh, what's this? Oh, look at what he's eating. Oh, look at what he's eating, guys. I mean, does that not tell you that he's a liar? Look at that food. Unbelievable. What else did you eat? Oh, yeah, he's checking to make sure there's no... Uh, the flat earth. That's the flat earth. That's what that is. Unbelievable. See, I know he's a hypocrite. Uh, they, they, they talk a big game when they're around me. Oh, I got to eat healthy and all that. But when they're by themselves, Tim... He sucks down so much food, it's sickening. So that was the, um, that's the update with that. Uh, eh, we're going to do some, uh, interesting videos, um, when I get back, I want to do a series of tech videos. I had an interesting phone call with a guy from Sp Italy, and he was telling me how he loved all my videos I did on SCX Digital. 
and how those are informative and that that made his decision on what to buy and um i was thinking you know maybe i need to get back into tech videos um yeah i used to do those all the time uh every time i posted a tech video i must have had four thousand views at least four thousand views I need to start doing more tech videos. The problem is, this guy he can never do anything. He's always busy with his family. You know, he's got to do this, got to do that, can't do this, and can't do this. You know, it's one thing, it's one excuse after another. You know, that's the problem with millennials. They have lots of excuses. I can't do this, I can't do that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Got too many hats. This is the only hat that I won't won't offend anybody. This one will will surely offend people. But I'm gonna wear this because I just I I'm frankly I, I just you know when when they when I'm paying four dollars a gallon or three dollars and fifteen cents a gallon gas, you know, and someone that comes up with a Biden sticker on the back of their bumper, I said, what do you expect? What do you think he was gonna do? Do you think he was not gonna to ban dr drilling and fracking and everything? So, so just suck it up and pay the $3. Don't complain. All right? And I got political. I'm sorry. But this is the way I was at Young's Newsstand. You know, you know, it is funny, ama amazing that when I had Young's Newsstand, I was, and I had a lot of, I had a lot of conservative or liberals come in. A lot of Democrats would come in my newsstand. And we'd have great conversations. They knew who I was. These are, uh, these will probably be worth about four thousand dollars in about another year. These two silver dollars that uh, James sent us. These are the prettiest coins ever made. In God we trust. Well, I don't know if we do that in much more anymore. That's the problem. All right, so everything's caught up for today. Today is Friday. I got to go get my camper pretty soon. I think he's done with it. We got all the shipping done. Tim was supposed to put more of those splat ball guns together, but he didn't. He always is sly. He's supposed to bring that his poster. So he's finished with his, his painting, which is absolutely beautiful. And we're gonna probably put it up for sale for about $2,000. Because it's worth every penny. And it's probably worth more than 2,000. Art is, is different. Art is a, um, a fluid price. But it's beautiful. I couldn't do that. I mean, the detail that he had, it, he, it, I will admit, and as I've always said this, that's why I've had him paint so many things for me. The guy knows how to paint, <laughs> okay? I know how to run to retail. I know how to do it. I know how to run a business and, and open a store like in a fly, okay? Tim knows how to paint like it was, like he was born with it. It's all there is to it. It's just he doesn't know how to manage his painting business. <laughs> That's why he needs direction. Because he can paint. And this painting of these three cars, absolutely beautiful. Whoever buys that, when we put it up for sale, first come, first serve, guys. We're going to put, hey, this thing is for sale. It'll be $2,000. I think that's where we're going to put it. He wanted to do, or I think Ryan said $1,900 or something. Or $1,800, I think. No, we got to, that, that it's, because there's only one. Now, we've got to get prints made of it first, because we're going to sell prints. The, the owner of the, of the oil will have rights to the oil. We have rights to the prints. We will sell prints, um, like we do with all the other sketches. So, um, 
That's the deal on his painting. He's supposed to go get that and bring it back. But obviously he's not. So, um... That's the latest news today. It's going to be 55 degrees tonight. It's supposed to be 70 or tonight. It's 70 right now, 55 tonight. It's supposed to be 80 tomorrow and then 90 on Sunday. Where did that come from? So we're going into that weather. So that means the upper middle, the upper plains is normally hot at this time. Whenever I did the Hobby Town USA convention, this is the first year I haven't done it in a while. I've done Hobby Town. Hold on, let me answer the question here. Good afternoon, the Professor Thinkers. Can I help you today? I uh, know. No, this is Brian. How can I help you today? How how can I help you? <laughs> you want to help me today? Okay, good. What can we do for you today? Yes. Really? Really? See, that's what they ran. See, this is what was really weird. You know, so I took it on, what was it, Tuesday? Was it Wednesday? No, yesterday. No, it was Tuesday. On Monday. No, I dropped it off on Monday. And um, they said on Tuesday they ran it all day long and nothing shut off. And then, and, and I said, well, what about the fuel line and fuel pump? Well, that would that we would know that if, if it shut. And so then I said, well, drive it around for a while. So they drove it around for like an hour, and they said we, we didn't, it didn't shut off. I said, "Well, what the heck?" I go, and so I then drove it back home, and it didn't shut off either. You know, so like I'm really, I was really thinking because I, you know, I had, I had, I've kept this in the, um, I keep this every year in a chicken coop or a turkey farm in the winter. And I never change the gas, okay? I always leave that gas in there over the winter. And uh, and I'm just wondering if there was of that gasoline, uh, you know, gummed up things. But see, it, it couldn't have gummed up in the engine because they, I took it to AMEDS and, and he did a service on the engine. He cleaned the carburetor and he did all that. So he said there was nothing wrong there, and he ran it for like four hours. But I wonder if he ran his own gas through it, not my gas. So I'm I'm not buying. I'm going to try to. I'm I'm I am at the end of the year going to put in the more. Uh, but I I got to figure out how to do that. Like you say, separate it from the from the gas tank. Um, I got to. I haven't figured out how to do that. Oh, all righty. Winterized generator. Okay, well, then I'll look for those. Winterizing generator. Huh. I will. I'll have them check that if I have any more problems. Yeah. 
knew everything. Well, I'll look into that. Winterizing, I'll look into winterizing the uh, generator too. Well, thank you very much. And what? And who are you now? Jerry, we're heading to Wisconsin tomorrow. We're heading over to Mount Rushmore. Love it. Oh, yeah, we do that every year. It's awesome. Hey, thanks a lot. Yeah, it is the only free. Well, Florida, but they were the truly the only free one. Shut. No, they didn't. They didn't shut anything. We were there last July and they were completely open. Everything was open. Yep. Hey, thanks a lot. <laughs> I appreciate it. Take it easy. All righty. All right, thanks. Uh-oh. So, uh, what else was I talking about before I was uh, before our customer from uh, Wisconsin called me about my generator? He was cons uh, giving me some tips. I honestly think that it was the fuel in the line. But see that I, I you know I'm I'm always a um, whenever there's a problem with something I'm always wanting to think about the. Um, what do you call it? Um, there's a terminology when you're diagnostic. You, you, you have to do this. You know, th if this is not it, then this has to be it. And um, if it runs, if it ran nonstop while they had it, and it ran nonstop when they drove it, but it didn't do it when I did it. Why? Now, you could say, okay, the fuel pump. All right, well, why didn't it stop with them with the fuel pump? Why didn't they check the fuel pump? And how do you know if the fuel pump is bad? I'm telling you, oh my gosh. I, that's one thing about SCX Digital. When I was selling SCX Digital, I, honestly, I knew everything there was wrong with SCX Digital. I could sit down with a, an engineer and tell him, here's how we're going to fix SCX Digital. And um, uh, well, they did it. And they said they didn't say there was a problem with the fuel pump. So I don't understand than that. Then it couldn't be the fuel pump then. But SCX Digital, when a customer would email me, I, I knew, I knew that if two people did it, that there's a problem. And SCX started to get mad at me. They go, how can you tell us that there's a problem with just two people? I said, it's a trend. And there's one thing that I've noticed, and that is trends. If I have one, okay. If I have two, now my alert went up. If I have three, we have a problem. Let me give you an example. So in 2009, there were three prong in the hand throttle, there are three little copper prongs. And on the bottom of each of those prongs, there's kind of like an indentation, like a cup. And so when you slid, when you slid it along the circuit, it wouldn't cut the circuit because those little cups were kind of like protecting it, almost like a spatula sliding across your circuit. Well, they weren't watching the Chinese. And what the Chinese did is, instead of on this circuit, they used steel and they didn't put the little um, little cup or that little bubble on all three of the prongs. And so when they slid across the circuit for the hand throttle, it was scratching the circuit, which was ruining it. And therefore, after about 10 or 20 throttlings, your throttle was no good. And I took one apart and I looked at it compared to in another older one. And sure enough, I sent them to him. I said, here's the problem in China. And they go, no, 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 no. I said, please check. Well, they got back with me and sure enough, I was right. And they had done the wrong. So they had to send me 
I told me I need new hand throttles. So they, they overnighted me from China, like 400 hand throttles. And I had all these things packed up. And I said to myself, you know, self, why don't you check these hand throttles out real quick to make sure they're, they're the right hand throttle? Because I had all these labeled ready to ship. Well, sure enough, I opened up one of the hand throttles and guess what? You're right. They sent me the same hand throttles that were the same defective hand throttles. I'm not making this stuff up. I'm not making this stuff up. So I had to re, I had to get, they had to then overnight more hand throttles, the correct ones, and I had to then ship those all out to people. We had so many customers that were upset. But you know the one thing about SCX Digital? Because it was such a great system, people tolerated the inconsistencies. Those were the days. So, that is uh, the history of SCX. I, uh, so I have to decide which hat I'm going to wear the most on my trip. Okay, so I have my submarine hat. Oh, I didn't tell you the story. Oh, my gosh, this was so funny. So we're swimming. I'm swimming on the Lazy Rizzard, Lizard or Lazy River at Ocean Lake. And I'm wearing my Marine Navy hat, my, my submarine hat. I'm laying in the pool, you know, on the balloon here. Just kind of, uh, you, just, you just sit down and you just lazy across the river or the, 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 uh, the pool. And this lifeguard looks at me and goes, Excuse me, sir. What is submarine service? What What is that? I go, what do you mean? No, you told us this story. Oh, I already told you this story? Oh, already. He didn't know what submarines were. Like, not at all? No, he didn't know what... I, I said, submarines. Do you know what a submarine? I said, do you know what a submarine is? No. No, like, no. You don't know what a submarine is? He goes, no. I go, you're kidding. I, and I saw, okay, so here's what you need to do. You need to go watch Hunt for Red October. I said, Hunt for October. I said it like five times to him. Every time I came around the Lazy River, river he was there. I said, don't forget, Hunt for Red October. The next day, I'm coming swimming. He comes up to me, goes, Mr. excuse me, sir, what was that movie I'm supposed to watch? Hunt for Red October, my friend. Hunt for Red October. How does he not know? How old is he? Well, I found out he was 16. But that does not explain why a 16-year-old does not know what a submarine is. Right, I think that's the biggest problem. And that's the biggest problem. This is what our kids are not being taught. They're not being taught critical inf information and critical things for critical thought. They're they're being taught a bunch of a bunch of crap, okay? Anyways, I'm getting off on a tangent. I probably got a thumbs down now already for my thumbs down guy. I can't believe that a kid would not know what a submarine is. Didn't know what a submarine was. They teach it in, in the... Nope. In the Civil War, they teach you nope. about some submarines. Nope. Not in that. Not in that. Uh, not in that. Uh, uh, not you in that. About them in video. Games. No, no, they don't. There you go. I'm telling you right now, there, buddy. You're not listening to me. Not listening. Maybe he just forgot. No, he he said that. Why he said, "What is submarine service? What is submarine service?" I go, "It's submarines. You know what submarines are, right?" No. I said, well, you got, I can't explain that to you, my friend. Wow. And so what I'm saying is, don't blame, don't blame me. I voted for you know who. Okay, run silent, run deep. Good movie. And this is what I told people in a video. Oh, maybe I did tell the story. I did tell the story when I was on the beach. I did tell the story. The only problem with Hunt Run for October is, it's not too accurate about the inside of a submarine, especially the Soviet submarine. They had all these color, colors everywhere, you know, red, green, all these thousands of switches. That's not how a submarine is. Believe me. Please. A lot of gauges, period. A lot of toggle switches. That's about it. So that was that story. I meant to tell you that. Okay, so where is uh, UPS? They were supposed to be delivering me a package. Um... Shoot. Don't tell me I'm not getting that.
Out for delivery. Okay, good. Out for delivery. Well, guys, uh, Tim was supposed to be here with our painting. Do you know what the deal is? Where he's at? Is he eating? I'm going to run home real quick with my new hat. Okay. I'm a, now I'm going to leave this here. I'm going to wear my submarine hat. I wanted him, I wanted Ryan when he was at the submarine, I wanted to buy him a new, buy me a new hat, but obviously he didn't listen to me, so. I wasn't there. I think Rotten Connecticut, Rotten Rotten. Mm -hmm. Okay, is that, do we have any vehicles? Okay. I'm telling you that, that on a big wind, just so he knows, on a big wind, that flag has come right out of that thing. Big windy day. Yes, sir.
coming back. They were all wondering where you were. Who cares? I'm not paid yet. I gotta get gas. Still? Yeah. I got a screw for that uh, flag. So that, that's tight in there. I'll take a look at it. I thought we thought I'm hungry. Yeah, but weren't you going to tell Rod about the hat? Rod left. Rod had to go do something. He's gone. I'm leaving. I'm gone. Where are you headed? Back to the shed and just going to retire quit. All right. I'll be back. Have fun. I'll be back. Tim is
Yeah, he just went to the workshop. You gotta be kidding. He said he's looking for you so we can get gas. He said he doesn't have any money to get gas. He owes me $50 for an oil change. Why? You know, I hate this when he tells me this stuff. Tells you what? Well, that I owe him money when then he goes and, and, uh, and, and charges $50 for his oil change on me. Well, have you talked to him about it? I haven't got a chance. I just came from the house. Hmm. Unbelievable. I found out you owe me $45 for an oil change. Did you know about that? I mean, I'm not his mechanic. I can't pay... Did you find him? Nope. I'll just take it out of what I normally send him. He'll freak out, but you know what? He shouldn't have.
All righty. Um, well, is anybody going on vacation this week? And All right. Well, Bel Air is at $42 right now. We got five days left. Three days on three days and 22 hours and 30 minutes. We got three bidders. All righty, now. Okay, now let's see what we have got to do here. Why does that do that? It doesn't log in right. Then I have to log out. And then log back in. I got these new things that um, Costco and Walmart's got them here. They're called s'mores. They're basically little crab crackers with, with marshmallows. Always dropping something. Never fails. Never fails. Hey, uh, Ryan, I got more transactions coming into the Huntington bank account from the Stripe transfer Stripe. Okay, good. Stripe. Okay. and also Google Suites Pro Tinker. Google Suites. Oh, is a charge maybe? For $10.89. Thank you so much for helping me notice those. That's just right. Brother, I asked him a month ago to get this fixed, and he's still. Oh, it's good. I've got to take care of, Dad. No, I said I thought I had it all taken care of, but let me know if you see any come through. And boy, you did right away, so I appreciate that. That's well, no, I can't help. shut this account down until it gets done. And right, that's why I'm thankful. I keep going over and over and over and over. It's like a, a record, a broken record, you know. That's why I'm thankful you're there to help me. It know? has nothing to do with being thankful. It's you know well, getting your. Thank getting you. your act together. You know I'm, what I'm saying? I mean, I'm thankful, though. 
No, you need to get your act together. Is what I'm getting at. Oh, but I'm not acting. I'm serious. I think it's great. No, you're not. You're not. That has nothing to do with acting. Okay, it's well, not. You said get your act together. No, act. It's not an act. It's not that no, type not. of act. Okay, it's getting your act together. It's getting your systems together. I'll, I'll say systems together. Okay. Oh, okay. See, then that's how he talks. He has this. He has this weird way of talking. Okay. Okay. I, I tell you, it's like. Act together. That's right, Al Spencer or Spencer, or whatever your name is. So, um, ATEC did that for 300 bucks for me. Did my muffler for 300 bucks. He didn't have to do that, but he did it for me, and that is really nice. Now, my muffler sounds a lot nicer on the camper. Um, well, I mean, he wants to make money, right? No, he has to make money. You have to make money to be in business. You can't not make money. I didn't say you couldn't make money. Oh. I even gave him a bonus. I said, if you can do it, I'll give you a bonus. Because he was really busy. He had a lot of guys, a lot of stuff piled up. Mm -hmm. So that got taken care of. Got uh, my $2 bills for kids while I'm on the trip. I lost my other $2 bills. I don't know where they are. Had a whole bundle of $2 bills. I can't find them. <laughs> oh, no. You lost them? I don't know where they are. <laughs> you should have installed a microphone on the driver's side for your video. I have a, a microphone on the driver's side, but I don't know how well it sounds. Maybe I'll do a test tonight. Tell me how it sounds. Driving and all that. I got a stack of two dollar bills. I give them to kids when I'm driving. When I'm get, can't uh, if like I see kids like we go to dinner or something. I I see a kid. They have to be under 12, 12 years or under, and I give them a two dollar bill. And these are brand new ones too. Brand new ones. I'd like to know where he's supposed. To, I thought he's supposed to bring that painting back. Are we supposed to see that painting before we shut off today? I'm really hoping to. <sighs> the problem they don't listen to me. I am the El Boso here. El Supremo. El Brian Nono. El Grape Young. <clears throat> Try to lock that. Kind of a slow day today. Oh, did I show you my other airplane? No, oh, I did. I showed you that.
Yeah, Lincoln was a real nutcase when he was younger. Boy, why are all these? Oh my God. No, I don't need those. Brandon Rogers. What did Brandon Rogers buy? Chicane, super sliding curve set, crossover track. Huh. Bought a lot of miscellaneous SCX stuff. Bought some track. Super Siding Curve Set, which you only have one of those. And a Super Ice Effect. I only have one of those. So I'll go pick all this stuff, show everybody what he bought, because Ryan thinks people want to watch me run around the store. That's the best part. Well, we're headed to Mount Rushmore tomorrow morning. We're leaving at 8 o'clock. I love Mount Rushmore. Very quiet, peaceful place. Okay, so we ordered a uh, 88114. 88114. 88114. One of these. Got one of those. And then he got some track. What happened there? All right, he bought some crossover track. Bought two sets of cr uh, crossovers. He got a scale electric chicane. Chicane. Ice effect. Ice effect, and then you got a chicane. Where are the chicanes? I know I have them here. Bryant did them all. What'd you do with those, Bryant? One of these right here. Where the chicane and the track. That's a nice little order. And his car. Got everything. I got two vehicles down here. I gotta get those back now. Gotta take one back and then take the scooter back or something. All right, that guy's ready to go. Okay, I'm gonna have to go back and get my camper. Or my scooter and drive the cars back. I got all the cars down here.
You know, why do a lot of customers use PayPal? It's easier to check out that way. It's one click. It's one click and go. Oh, it is? Yeah. That's so funny. Why is eBay not doing PayPal? Because they're trying to be fascists. Because they know... Oh, because people are doing what we did. Lots of people. That's why we need to create a new part of our website. And it's going to be... It's going to be small business, small online business links. And we need to start going around and interviewing different small businesses that operate online. Websites. And we need to link to them, and we need to request that they link to us. And we're going to fight Amazon, and that's the way to do it. Like, I met this guy yesterday. He makes hot sauce in Bowling Green, Ohio. He makes hot sauce. He sells it online. It's all locally sourced stuff. It's all fresh hot sauce. Doesn't use any preservatives, no sugars, nothing. It's all fresh. It's good stuff for you. You don't know that, though. I talked to him about it. And well, he, he sells it online, and, and he's in the same boat. So I'd link to his website. I'd be like, we, we could even do an interview where we go and talk to him and say, how'd you get started? You know, this is that. We cross-promote. Because we got to stop this Amazon crap. They're taking over. That's the problem. And that's what eBay's trying <laughs> See, to fight that's what against. I... That's what they, what do you mean? That's what eBay is trying to do is they don't, they want to become like Amazon. Because right now they're just a garage, well they started as just a garage. And site. that's what they should have been and they would have continued to grow. But they got corporate people involved, which ruined them. Right. But people, and I've said this before, people think that Amazon is this, is this, you know, <laughs> nothing's different. Sears was the same way back in 1889. Exactly the same. They were exactly the same, and downtown businesses did not want Sears in their stores because they didn't want catalog stores. And they told Sears, you have to have a store if you want to come into our town. And that's why they then opened up catalog and store uh, fronts to get away from that. Right, but the only way to fight... Nothing is new. Big. Amazon is, it will go through their trouble, okay? Now, it will be next 10 years, 20 years, I don't know. It just retailers have to be smart. We have to be smart on how we do it. Yeah, and work together, cross promote, because we can bounce off each other's customers. Everybody buys toys. Everybody buys, you know, hot sauce. Everybody buys seasoning. Like all those things are. So It'll take time. Them. I mean, unless. Unless what? We just have to encourage people to stop using Amazon and start finding those local stores. That are online like us. The mom and pop online shops. Right. That's what we are. An online pop. I cannot compete with Amazon uh, Prime. That, it'll never happen. Never happen. I but. Mean, we could get close. We, uh, we are going to grow at our rate. And we will become uh, what we, we become. I will continue to keep buying product. Okay. Right, but the fact of the matter is we're only. Uh, not what? Even not even a year old? Well, I mean, technically, he opened I think, this. I think this would be the first official year. Last year was your first official year, and then when I come aboard, this year was the first year. year. Does that make sense? Not at all. Because I was just doing it part time before in my spare time. No, but not until September. September October is when eBay's say or uh, Tinker sales eclipsed eBay sales. September, October. That is when the sales daily of Pro Tinker uh, were better than eBay. So we're not even a year old, okay? And we've got a lot of growth to go through, okay? I have a store here filled with product that I've got that's paid for. I owe no one for it. Now, obviously, I have a mortgage, okay, which is common, okay? Most retailers would... Wish to have the mortgage that I have. Ha! They they would die to have this amount of square footage with the rent that I'm paying. <laughs> Give me a break. We have all this property. I have this land. I have another four parcels that I could put whatever I want on it. We are in a great spot right now. I wish I was like this 20 years ago, but that's not the way things happen. I mean, you kind of wanted to start that. I just didn't know how to build a website back then. You remember that? I, I I had a website, Pro Tinker Toys. 
No, you had a you wanted to create a slot car website too. Remember that? Mm-hmm. But you uh wanted to do your own little thing. <laughs> you know? Is that what that is? Well, All right, that should be good. So if anything else pops up, you got to let me know, please. Because I appreciate the help that you, you just, you helped out a lot. So that was good. Well, everybody. Coming down here? I have no idea what Tim's doing. Because he's supposed to be down here to show the painting. I'd like to show the painting. Let's, I know what to do. Let's do some, let's have some fun here. I'll bring down the camera a little bit. And we'll just show people my exclusives that I'm coming out with. I've shown these a million times, but we're going to do some detailed close-ups. How's that? So let's do a detailed close-up of the pickup truck. So it's going to have a rusty effect on the door. It's going to have a rust here. And then it's got the Betsy Ross flag. Uh, flag. On the truck bed and then it has Pro Tinker toys on the other side and this is our pickup truck that we're doing we're doing a thousand of these and these will be gone faster than I can spit I could put these up right now and they would probably be gone I hope they I hope they do. I hope all this delay isn't screwing up my sales. That's what I'm worried about is that my sales will suffer because we're waiting so long. That's the one exclusive. Now the next exclusive is the red Batmobile versus the black Batmobile based on the comic book there was a red Batmobile and this red um, Futura, Ford Futura, they only made one of them, and it was for a movie, A Kiss of Love or something with uh, Glenn Ford and I um, can't think of the, uh, what's her name, but it's going to have uh, Red, Batman and Robin. And it's on a Thunderjet or on a um, Ultra G chassis. Pretty nice, huh? Actually, that's a Ford gear chassis. I'm sorry. Yeah, that's a Ford gear, Ford gear chassis. And it's molded in, it's red sprayed over white uh, plastic frame or body. That's the second exclusive that we're doing. And then, uh, I'm, I'm beginning to like these cars every, more and more every time I pick them up. The Nomads. I think these are just pretty cars. I, I just like the Nomad. I thought the Nomad was a pretty car. I believe that if, if Chevy came out with this car exactly like this is right now with modern safety features and everything... Don't change the everything the same. I think it would sell out. I'd buy one. Check out that. White walls. That look pretty. Purdy. Doesn't that look purdy? Look at that. And that is on a extraction chassis or four gear chassis also. No, that's an extraction. 
yeah, that's an extraction. The four gear. It's funny, the Batmobile, well, Batmobile is a bigger car. Look at that. Look how much bigger that is. So that is the, this is the blurple with the red and the yellow flames. Pretty nice, isn't it? And then the fourth car of our first set of exclusives is the black with red flames. Now, or yellow flames. Now this has the red in it. And I told him we don't want it with the red. We want a pure red, uh, yellow. So uh, this is a one of a kind. One thing that we need to do though with that yellow, they need to like double coat it or something. Because a couple of people have complained about our our exclusive. Where is it? Yeah, I know what you're talking about. So they'll can you can you request that and let them know? Or do they not know? And you know, I was okay with it when the first person complained. But then the second person complained, and that's when I knew we had a problem. <laughs> nice try, nice try. <laughs> Unbelievable. Well, first of all, it's hard to paint yellow over black. Um, you have to do several coats over it. <clears throat> and I will let them know that. I appreciate that. But this is the next one that we're doing. One fourteen is on the ice and paint, which is our address. One fourteen. So that is the fourth car that we're doing. Mm -hmm. And these are the prototypes. I wish he'd come in quicker, but yep. it's the way it is. It's the pandemic. What can we do about the pandemic? We can't. It's getting, people are going to, it, 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 it's. Was this something else? Did this refer to something else? No, that's the password to. Shilling? No, the username and password for shilling. Right. You emailed that too, though. Yeah, I know. Okay, I just got it anonymous. Uh, I just, you know, did you I'm check with him to see if he's coming down here? I did. Yep, I said. Okay, we are live right now. Are you coming down with that painting? Because we want to shut this live down. I don't know what to tell you anymore, guys. Well, I think that's Tim. Let's see what Tim said. New message on eBay. Okay, what's it say? Can I cancel the order? Shoot. I'm sorry, the item was already shipped. So when are you back? 15th. Okay, so you've got next Saturday then. Who's going to do the 10th? I've got Navy the 10th. I won't be back next Saturday. I know. That's what I'm saying. I've How can you have the 10th when you just did two weeks? Because you have to do, every month you have to do a weekend, plus you have to do two weeks. Tell them you can't do it this weekend. I'll talk to Mandy about it, too. Shoot, now they want to cancel. Oh, I hate this. Cancel what? Oh, eBay customer wants to cancel a gun I bought. Why? 
I don't know. Shoot. Well, what did he say? Just cancel it? Yeah. For no reason? Where's your camera at? Is it down at the shop? I might start using that for photos and stuff. Now what's wrong? Nothing. I'm not going to tell you. I th Danny came up with a theory. He thinks it's the motorcycle that's breaking the camera on my phone. Because it, when I put the camera on... You don't put it on that. I could told you the vibrations are going to screw up any internal mechanisms. Right. And that's what I'm doing. I'm putting it on that phone mount. I think that vibration is destroying my camera. I think that's what it is. Danny read that somewhere. So I can't use my 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 cell phone on my bike like that, I think. No, just don't put it on the on the bike. Put it inside your bag. Right. That's what yeah, that's what I'm going to have to do. So I got to get the dang camera fixed again. Isn't that crazy? That's why I'm gonna I gotta take these photos. Unbelievable. <clears throat> I think Danny's right though. I think it's the motorcycle that's doing it. Uh, I'm going to run down the Cooper back because I got all these cars. And I'll be back. Why do you have so many cars down there? Because I had my van here when I brought it up. I had the thing where I had to take this and that. And...
Take this over before people forget.
All right, I'm back. I bet Brian and Tim are fighting. Holy smokes, yes, I want to come up. Oh boy, keep Tim spinning in the butter on his cell does. It's not a bad idea. Where is he? I just joined. Ryan is at the post office. This is the best live feed they've ever done. Thanks, Al. <laughs> this is the best live. That's great. Man, we got the funniest people. Can't get good people like that anywhere else. Oh, my. Pro Tutor Toys, how can I help you? What's going on? Well, I guess he's not going to show his picture, so we're going to go ahead and sign off. Yeah. He thinks I'm the only one that is juicy. Yeah. <laughs> Everybody have a great weekend. Have a great 4th of July. Keep an eye out for my live streams while I drive oh, to no, South that Dakota. Yesterday on that, because it's normally two ninety nine. What is... Okay. Yeah, well, you got it way better than that. Okay. It's like one of the, yeah, one of the prints. Yeah, oh yeah. Maybe do one similar. We might not be able to copy it exact. Okay, yeah, I'll talk to Tim about if we can do a photo of it and see. Yeah.
that I'll be doing. I, I, I'll talk to Tim about if we, if we can, because he's going to, he's got to work on Rod's painting, and then after that, he's just going to be doing sketches. So he's going to hopefully knock out a lot more sketches. Yeah, and that could be like a concept. We might not do the exact, just because they probably own the, the color scheme for it, but maybe we'll come up with our own that's kind of based off of that one, though, you know? Yeah. Oh, okay. And hopefully if I get that package when Dad's not here, I'll, I'll make sure to save it and open it up on the live stream, okay? That way, I, that way I can I'll show it on there. That'll be pretty neat and let people know we talk chit chat. Yeah, yeah. Those Batmobiles, those classic ones, are awesome looking. Yeah, yeah, well, even even the other series and stuff will get you, right? Oh, yeah, that one's awesome. Yeah. Oh yeah, for sure. Okay. Well, then which ones are you missing? Those what? Are the only one. I don't think you're missing any. Oh, but that one wasn't our exclusive. Yeah, that one was SC354. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, those ones were sweet. Oh, yeah. Yep, yep, oh yeah, for sure. Yeah, absolutely. We'll talk again and I'll be looking out for that package, okay? Alright. Alright. Yep, bye. Now what's wrong? Nothing's wrong. Why do you think something's wrong? Hmm?
Do you have anything that you got to get around before you leave? Or are you planning on hanging out here? Or what you thinking? What do you mean? Why? Well, because I got to work Saturday. And I work Oh, Monday. I'm sorry. So I'm going to zip out. You got to work? Gosh, unbelievable. Uh, this is your buddy, Jose. What's up? Oh, <laughs> no worries. <laughs> oh, that's cool. All right. Bye. Mandy, she just said, hey, if you're, you can come back early because you work the Saturdays. If you're going to be here, I would make her happy by doing that. Oh, I need to get back to making more videos. I like making videos, but I don't get to do it because he's losing it. Poor guy. What are you guys doing? Happy 4th of July to all my American slot buddies. What's up? Have a great trip, Brian. Bye-bye. You guys are so funny. Brian loves making videos. Yeah, and I want to make some too. I like the editing and everything. But I can't sit here and edit videos with these clowns. They they talk too. Tim talks too much. He really does. Good old Tim. He just goes forever. Which is okay. I mean, it's great. Look at these $2. He loves these $2 bills. He thinks they're the coolest thing ever. Guess Tim's not coming. Well, guys, I say that sale. They wanted to cancel it because it was going to the wrong address. So I was able to go to the post office and oh, thank goodness. grab that and fix that order. Did they put the wrong address in? I don't know. It was eBay one, though. Anyways, we'll see you later. Uh, everybody have a great weekend. I love Brian when he says, well, guys, uh, when he starts with uh, that, I can be g good or bad news. Well, guys, <laughs> Brian loves making videos. LOL. Happy 4th of July. Everybody have a happy 4th of July. God bless. Make sure you're safe. Um, eat lots of hamburgers. Um, just eat lots of food. Just have fun. Uh, just eat. You know, that's what Americans like to do is eat. I'm having a brisket. That's great, Adam. Oh, gosh. Just eat and be happy. Bye.